Hello, and welcome to the VLUX Skylight installation video. We're going to demonstrate the curb-mounted installation method. Curb-mounted skylights have a wide range of sizes and accessories available. Curb-mounted skylights are the preferred method of installation in some areas and incorporate an essential technique if installing a skylight on a low-sloped roof. So, you want to install a skylight. It may seem like a daunting task, but when you use VLUX skylights in flashing systems, it isn't as hard as you might think. And when you install a VLUX curb-mounted skylight correctly, also known as the no-leak skylight, you can rest easy knowing that it will not leak no matter what. Our curb-mounted skylights come with an industry-first, 10-year, no-leak installation warranty, no matter who does the installation. Over the course of this video, you will see the various steps required to properly install VLUX Skylights. Just follow along and you'll be a pro in no time. You can also refer to the installation literature included with your Skylight and online at VLUXUSA.com. Okay, let's get started. With a curb installed, the next step is to wrap it. Proper wrapping keeps wind, rain, and debris from entering the home through any gaps around the skylight. To ensure weather tightness, the curb needs to be wrapped with underlayment, which is supplied with a flashing. This acts as a vapor barrier and helps keep out any moisture that may have gotten under the roofing material to cause condensation. For this installation, we will be using VLUX Type ZZZ216 Skylight Adhesive Underlayment. Each roll is 9 inches wide by 21 feet in length and is included in the flashing kit. Prior to installing the adhesive underlayment, cut back the existing roof felt 3 inches on the bottom and sides and 7 inches at the top of the skylight. Start at the bottom of the curb with a piece of adhesive underlayment. Stick the top edge of the adhesive underlayment as close to the top of the wood curb as possible. Slowly work down the curb. Try to keep out all wrinkles and make a good crease at the transition from the curb to the roof deck. Cut the corners by starting at the bottom and cutting up and away from the curb at a 45 degree angle. Next, secure the top flap to the side of the curb and the bottom to the roof deck. Follow the same process for installing the adhesive underlayment to the sides, finishing with the top of the curb. At the corners where there may be small pinholes, you may want to cut small circular patches of adhesive underlayment to cover up any openings. Your curb is now ready for the ECL flashing. Since we are using a 2x4 curb, it is usually easier to prepare the flashing for the shorter 2x4 curb down on the ground. You can start by cutting a V at each seam down to the score line on the sill flashing. Remove the V-shaped piece, then bend the three sides of the score line back and forth until the upper portion is removed. Next, bend the step pieces back and forth until the top portion breaks away. Finish preparing your ECL flashing by cutting a V at each seam on the head flashing. Remove the V-shaped pieces and bend the sides back and forth until the tabs are removed. Do not remove the top portion of the head flashing. Simply bend it over as this will act as a water diverter. Before installing the flashing, be sure that the curb has been wrapped with adhesive underlayment for weather tightness. Then install a row of roofing material over the bottom edge of the underlayment. Start with a flashing installation by placing the sill flashing at the bottom of the curb. Make sure the shingles have been installed close enough to the curb so that the bottom flashing has proper coverage then secure it with roofing nails to the roof deck or curb. Once the sill flashing has been secured, it's time to start interweaving shingles and step pieces up the sides of the curb. Make sure the nails used for the flashing do not go all the way through the curb as this will affect the finished material used on the inside of the curb. In many cases, the top step piece will extend past the top edge of the curb. Do not skip this step piece. Cut it to an appropriate length so that it fits below the top edge of the curb. 
After the shingles and step pieces have been installed to the top of the curb on both sides, you can install the top flashing piece. The next step is to interweave the top flashing with the underlayment that covers the roof deck. If a seam is close to the top of the flashing, you can pull the nails out and slip a piece of underlayment under the seam and over the top flashing. If no seam is available, make a cut in the underlayment just a little wider than the flashing and slip a piece of underlayment under the seam and over the top flashing as before. This step will divert water that has gotten under the shingles to the top of the flashing and shingles. To finish off your flashing installation, add your roofing material back around the curb. Ensure that there is a 2 and 3 8 inch to 4 inch gap from the top of the flashing to the bottom of the shingles. This may require trimming the bottom of the shingles as needed. Now that the flashing is complete and your curb is watertight, you are ready to install the curb mounted skylight. Using the screws provided, secure the skylight to the curb while applying a little pressure. This will create a good seal between the skylight and the curb. You're now ready to connect and attach the solar panel. Connect the wire located on the bottom of the skylight to the solar panel and then attach the panel to the body of the skylight with the two screws provided. 